As you can imagine, my plate is pretty full daily, including weekends. You know, I have three kids, so we have stuff to do every weekend. You know, there's soccer games, there's, there's swimming lessons. There's just about anything you can imagine that I have to do. Uh, some of you also know that I'm also a competition shooter, so I, so I have to do that too in the weekend. So how do I have time to do all of that and on top of that, do everything that I do here at Texas Barn Dominiums. Well, let me tell you how. Number one is you have to get up early. I get up at 0500 daily. Doesn't matter. Every day I'm up at that time, including weekends. Some weekends I will sleep in to about 0600. But other than that, <laughs> I'm up early, okay? I find that my time is a lot more productive early in the morning because there's no phone calls, there's no text messages, no emails. I can sit at my computer and I can get things done. I know some of you right now are kind of looking at me like I've lost my mind, but trust me. I mean, I like sleeping, right? Who doesn't? But you're going to like how much you can accomplish in one day. So, for example, take today, for example. You know, 0500, I'm up. Uh, kind of go into my office, get things ready. We have a meeting every Monday morning. Uh, had everything ready for the meeting. We had a meeting that went for about two hours. Uh, then my computer had went down. I had a, I had a drive that went down. Uh, luckily, I have a RAID set up so that, you know, my drives can back each other up. So I called somebody in. They had to deal with that. Uh, then I left. I had to go to a job site, Barndell 214. The framers were working over there. So I went over there, checked on the framers, and I had two meetings. Okay, I went, took care of those two meetings. Each meeting was, the first meeting was kind of short, about 30 minutes long. The second meeting went about an hour and a half long. Okay, took care of that, had that meeting. Uh, I scheduled some concrete. I spoke to uh, my some of my subcontractors, uh, pretty much checked on the rest of the week, scheduled everything out, and I'm back home by 1800. I mean, look, it's, and now I'm, I'm shooting a video for you guys. And, and it's still early. Like I said, it's 1800 right now. I'm going to go inside the house, edit it, upload it, so you guys can watch it. And I'm still gonna be able to spend some time with the family and, uh, you know, have dinner together. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. So, I mean, look at all, I mean, if I was to get up even two hours later, that just pushes my whole day back okay so now my family time's gone okay so you have to find the right balance but i'm telling you just try it get up at 0500 my next step is i'm gonna start getting up at 0400 that's to me <laughs> you know it's it's like an addiction right now don't get me wrong i'm not losing my sleep i'm just shifting the time at which i sleep i don't you know i only i'm happy with six hours of sleep that, that's all i need and when we pour concrete something i don't even get to sleep but six hours of sleep I'm happy. I'm fine. Okay. So uh, at one point, I'm going to work to shift my, my, uh, my schedule to where I get up at 0400 and I'm in bed by 2200. If I can do that, I'll get my six hours of sleep and, and it's just going to be a lot more productive. Now, another thing that you need to do is you need to read. You need to read books and you need to read a lot of books because that's where a lot of this motivation is going to come from. Motivation is like a shower. You need it daily. Uh, the latest book I've been reading is called Extreme Ownership. That is a good book. I really like a Navy SEAL mentality. Uh, I was never in the military, but as you guys can tell, I'm even adapting the military time just because I think it's more efficient. If I tell you 8 o'clock, we don't have to discuss whether it's 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. It's 0800. That's it. That's all you need to know. But again, reading all these books, it, it just kind of motivates you and kind of gets you out of a rut. You know, you, if you're in a rut and you read a good book, and I'm talking about self-motivation books, non-fiction books. Fiction, I don't like fiction. The one fiction book that I read lately was The Martian, which is a, it's a good book. It's a fun book. But once I got done with it, I went back to, to my kind of my... my books that I like to read. Uh, there's the Who Moved My Cheese, The Monk and the Merchant, that's a good one. Uh, Rhinoceros Success, 
Uh, what else? There's a, there's a lot of good books that I have read that are that are really kind of get you motivated, get you pumping, get you eager to get up in the morning and go do something. So you can see I'm I'm not even tired right now. You know, <laughs> like I said, it's it's 1800. I'm just still full of energy because like I said, I, I just, once I get my six hours of sleep and once you get used to it, you're gonna be fine. So anyway, try it and you're gonna get a lot more done with your day. So anyway, I'm Eric and we are Texas Barnuminiums. See you next time. Man, I just realized my computer's not working. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go to Daniel's office and edit this video, which can take me a little longer, but it doesn't matter. I'll get it to you today, because why? Because I promised you a video on Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday, and you're gonna get it. All right, see you.